Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my insight on air roll, how I use it, how I train it, and how you can feel most comfortable while using it. Okay, so air roll is a very, very complex mechanic. It does take a lot of practice because there's so many situations it gets used. Obviously, it can get used in the air, it gets used on dribbles, and it just gets used like in all control in general. So it's going to be a lot explaining this. Hopefully I'll make it easy to understand and you can go into free play with a clear idea of what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning. If you just binded air roll left or air roll right, what you want to do is you want to come into free play. Uh, don't touch the ball, just come into free play. And the main thing I want you to be doing is one spin. I use air roll left, start with one spin going like this. I don't do anything crazy i just hold right on my left analog and i hold air roll left that's all i want you to be able to get used to doing one spin and secondly i want you to be trying to do one spin while using boost so you go a little bit higher in the spin after you can do that i want you doing one spin using boost and doing another spin so you do two spins in total while feathering your boost after you're able to do two spins and feather your boost and you feel quite comfortable doing this. I want you being able to do three spins while feathering your boost. So step one is one spin. Step two is two spins with some boost. And step three is three spins with even more boost. Okay, so once you can go forward and get these spins like this, now I want you turning your car upwards and trying to do this. So you don't actually move the analog once you go up. You just feather your boost and hold air roll left. And once you aim upwards and you can do this, you should try and get comfortable staying in the air for a long time. It's more feathering boost than it actually is air rolling. You just hold air roll the whole entire time and you have to focus on how to feather your boost. So once you've practiced that, I want you to be able to see and practice seeing where you need to go. So I know that I'm going towards the goal here. So when I'm facing this way, I'll stop and I'll boost a little bit more. Now I'm going too fast this way, I'll turn around and go this way and then keep it on just so you can keep going the whole entire time. This will give you a lot of control in the air, especially like when you go for flip resets and stuff like that and say your momentum is going like the wrong way a little bit, I then can come back and I can still use it. So I want you gaining control in the air and being able to make quick adaptations to wherever your car needs to go and wherever you're losing control, you can quickly turn the other way. I would prefer you start by stop moving and you aim whatever way you need to go. Stop moving and come this way wherever you need to go. But if you can get it over time just like this, you see me moving my analog a lot. So I basically am at a standstill because I'm going in the exact direction to kill my moment, like my losing momentum every single time. So I basically just am at a standstill the whole entire time because I'm very quickly reacting to wherever I'm going to lose momentum. And once you are able to do this, you basically can have infinite control with air dribbles, with things like that, uh, as especially in free play because you have unlimited boost. And then over time, this will take a lot of practice in game because obviously you don't have unlimited boost and it's a little bit ha uh, harder to control yourself without full boost. But this will make uh, like air dribbles and genuine mechanics just so much easier to hit in game. Especially the ones that feel awkward because like you're moving around like this, you'll still be able to recover them and end up scoring from them. So that's how I want you getting down the control of the actual air roll in the air. Now I'm going to talk about the shots. Okay, so moving on to the air roll shots. Uh, usually it's like a bouncing ball like that. You air roll around and you shoot it like that. Uh, these shots are kind of situational, but obviously they're quite important shots to be able to pull off uh, because a lot of the times these sort of shots will get you goals in games. Uh, these won't be too hard to practice, I don't think. You just come into free play, make the ball bounce, go down, and then like air roll. The biggest thing is just the timing. The timing to actually like hit the ball and when to air roll is the only thing you have to learn. It shouldn't take that much practice. Um, you should be able to get it fairly quickly. I use air roll left on the angles that air roll left actually goes, like air roll le uh, left spins you that way, right? So I usually do shots that way. And then when I do shots this way, I usually use the normal air roll. So for this way, I use air roll left. For this way, I use the normal air roll. 
for shots. So for shots like this, for example, I would use normal arrow for this one. And then this way I would use arrow left. So yeah, with these, you just want to practice the timing of the jump, the timing of the arrow, and then always try to hit it with the corner. You definitely be wanting uh, want to try and maintain the corner hits with the arrow because that is the biggest thing to learn. The actual timing, hitting it up, going down, air rolling, and hitting it with your corner of your car. It's the same with aerials as well. You go up, you air roll round, air roll, and then you can score. So like I mentioned at the start, you want to be practicing air roll and how to actually get control of it in the air. And this sort of control will also really help you with like double taps when you need to air roll for control and you need to air roll to the right angle to actually pull the double tap off like this one. So I hit it higher, I need to air roll round to get it to the backboard and I air roll round to finish it. Same with like any just kind of wall reads and wall touches, you just sort of air roll every single time to get the read. You basically want to just be mastering the actual air roll movement every single time because you do air roll a lot. What I do personally, like usually people don't air roll this much, but I usually air roll a lot because I just feel like it's a lot more comfortable for me. And I've been doing it for so long that it's just got, I've just got completely used to it now and now it's instinct. So no matter where I have the ball, go up to the wall, I'll air roll it to the ceiling, double tap it with air roll and then double tap it again with air roll. You basically use air roll like wherever you are on the field uh, because it's really effective and hopefully at the start you'll end up learning how to use air roll properly. Uh, I would absolutely recommend you stop using the normal air roll for basically all sorts of mechanics and things like that and you just spend some time just learning the air roll left or the air roll right. I think it's essential that you learn it especially if you're actually taking the game serious because air roll left or air roll right is needed in basically every single situation if you go for as many mechanics as me which uh, i mean maybe i think it's a play style thing but a lot of people just use mechanics because that's what they find like the most fun in the game with so i definitely recommend learning this asap so as i said at the start to learn this you want to be going into free play and practicing spins and practicing keeping control of your car without the ball and then with air roll shots, you need to be practicing the timing and the positioning and making sure you hit the ball on the corner of your car. So overall, once you've practiced this a lot, you should be feeling really uh, comfortable with air roll and being able to use it in every single situation. I think practicing it on the ground is the most important thing to learn because I think you will have that edge in all situations in the game. And once you've got this sort of movement down, again, give yourself the patience, it will take time. But once you've got this movement down, you end up winning games really easily just through being able to make awkward positions, just not feel awkward anymore and just feel like you've been in this situation loads of times and you can deal with it perfectly now. Because situations in game like this can feel really awkward sometimes, but with a lot of practice, they'll end up feeling really easy and you'll be a threat no matter where you are on the field. But again, as I said, make sure you're giving yourself patience because this is a really hard thing to learn. It's probably the most complex thing to learn in the game because you literally use air roll everywhere. So overall, just grind this out for a while. Let me know in the comments how you're actually feeling and if you feel like you're getting better with it over time. And the fact you use it everywhere means that there's so many scenarios and so many situations you need to get comfortable with that will feel really uncomfortable at the start. But once you get it down, you'll end up really enjoying it. So just remember the tips I've gave and remember to work on these step by step and making sure you're improving every single time. Thank you for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.